Hey, my name is Scott Harp. I'm a co-owner of DBAT Denton. I'm also the general manager here. Hey guys, let's talk about defense. Okay, for your high school tryouts, the coach is probably going to bounce you all over the infield. Okay, if you say you play middle infield, he's going to say, hey, that's great, but I'm going to put you at second, short, and third, and probably also move you into the outfield. Okay, so the thing that's to make sure you stand out is you kind of know the basics of every position. So, uh, first of all, the way you handle yourself in ground balls, there's two things that make you stick out in a tryout or a showcase. Okay, it's how hard you throw it and it's how you look fielding the ground ball. Yes, I'll say that again. It is how you look. Because a lot of kids are going to be able to field a ground ball, but they might not look like they're very high level when they're doing it. And you want to do things to help you stand out. So some of the things to work on on our athleticism also is how we throw the baseball. Meaning as an infielder, you have to be able to throw from Amarillo to Laredo, 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock. Okay, you don't make every throw like an outfielder. Every throw is going to be here. Pitcher's going to throw consistently the same. Catcher for the 99% of the time is going to throw the same. Infielder is going to throw from all over the map. So you want to practice to be able to throw from all different angles. Okay, and be athletic to let it go and trust your stuff to be able to take that elbow back and flip it over there from every arm angle. And the lower you need to throw it, the more your upper body is going to be bending over. So the more I'm in this position, I'm going to be, if I'm going to throw from right here, I'm going to be bent over. I'm not going to stand up. And that's where a lot of mistakes kids do is they stand up and then throw a sidearm. Well, that makes no sense. Okay, so the ball is going to run way more. They're not going to have anything on it. And it puts a lot of pressure on the elbow. When I'm coming in here low and I'm going, I'm going to throw this ball this way, my torso is bent over. So the lower I am, the more I'm going to be bent over. So if I'm coming in on a slow roller and I'm right here, I'm going to be like this. So then I can release the ball from basically a, a dirt scraper from the ground. 